bad girls contains strong language. In this series, we're banged up, serving time with the inmates of one of Britain's top female prisons. Meet the real bad girls of Bulwart Hall. Tell no lies, tell no tales, because I'm a bad girl from South Wales. It's only when I'm being a bitch people want to start taking notice of me, you know? Paris, you're always a bitch, so I don't know what you're on about anyway. Soft. I do like a challenge. And a lot of girls here are a challenge. So I'm not a bad girl, I'm a good girl. This week, an old-school reunion for the Welsh posse. Convicted murderer Emma celebrates her birthday prison style. And Juliana gets her first taste of prison punishment. It's lunchtime, and the latest inmates are arriving at Her Majesty's prison, Bulwood Hall. Nineteen-year-old Kimberly was sentenced to two years for possessing ecstasy with intent to supply. It's my first offence, I'm usually a good gun, <laughs> but, uh... You know, shit happens, doesn't it? I was off my head dancing like I had in my living room and I opened my eyes and there was just all people around me and I thought, God, who are you, isn't it? And they said, oh, it's a police, it's a, it's a drug fest. And he's like, oh, don't lie, dancing away, you know? But it was, and it was just, it was just mad, it was. <laughs> they had a good couple of pills for my flat door and then arrested me for it. Navy rebuff bottoms. Yep. It's on the roll. White diesel short sleeve top. Yep. Um, light blue cord Levi's. Black, white and orange. Did I know where you were? Yeah. yeah. I should have a pair of pooped yellow earrings. You know, metal earrings. One earring. Just one. Yeah. Okay, and a tungsten. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I suppose you look like being called Kimberly. It's all right, nice. <laughs> Got a reaction. Kimberly. Bet your mother calls you Kimberly when you've been naughty. No. <laughs> and I'll tell her what she calls you. <laughs> Built in the 60s as a borstal to house delinquent teenagers, Kimberly's new home now houses 180 female prisoners. Among them are some of Britain's most notorious criminals. Kimberly will be spending the rest of her sentence on Sea Wing. It's one of the biggest wings with 33 cells, all for young offenders, 18 to 21 year olds. Reunions happen all the time. Inmates move here from other overcrowded prisons. <laughs> Being in a gang is a form of protection in prison. Kimberly's lucky. She's an automatic member of the Welsh Posse. I know about 15 of them already, so it's all right. It's like a little reunion, it is. For this prison, that coming here, it does feel a bit like home because there's you know, a lot of people that I first met when I first came to jail, yeah. So I like this. It feels a bit homely. <laughs> 
Like all new girls, Kimberly assesses Bullwood in relation to her two previous prisons. The thing is, in Eastwood Park, right, it sounds silly, but if we're Welsh, you're all right. You get looked after, like. And so it was all right to us. Yeah. But I was only in Eastwood Park for five and a half weeks, and then they shipped me out to Drake Hall. And Drake Hall is on town visits every two weeks and a half. Yeah. My friends used to hire a bus, and um, but sometimes about 10, 12 of them would come up and I'd take me out for the day. We'd go temping bowling. But once or, oh, I went back pissed, I did. I had too much to drink, like, fell in reception, and then uh, I was in front of the governor then. <laughs> but she only gave me five days, so that was all right. Got off late if I did. Got a gift to the garb, see. <laughs> Kimberly's arrived in time for lunch. <laughs> Everyone wants kitchen work. It's a reward for keeping your nose clean. They work alongside two civilian chefs. Time goes quickly here, so it's popular with Bullwood's 40 knifers, most of them convicted killers. Knifer Emma is the kitchen porter. At the age of 26, she stabbed a pensioner and tried to dispose of the body with her girlfriend. Stink things do, you know. Ooh, they do stink. The judge recommended she serve at least 12 years for her murder conviction. But two years into her sentence, she finds prison life hard. And some days, like, you know, when I'm having a bad day, I think, God, I, can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it. When I'm having a bad day, a really bad day, I think, oh, bollocks to it. I can't be doing this. You know, I think another 10 years of this. Sometimes I do. And there's other people like my friend Julie, she's the same. And you like you have to you have to try and keep each other going because it you know what I mean? It's a bloody long time. You know what I mean? It is. It's hard for me to get my head around like being away from my family for ten years. But you know, for what I did, I should be in here. And uh, I'm paying the price every day. The difference between Oh, us, the lifers, and the girls that are not, um, is that um, they've got a date to go on to say, right, this is a date, this is when you'll go, or that you do half the time, as, we're, as when you're a lifer, when you get a tariff, like, say you get 12 years, and you don't, have, you don't do half that 12 years, you do the full 12 before you can even step out the door, you know, and that's, it's, it's different, you know, it's, it is a lot hard for us, but, you know, it's got to adapt to it. It just takes time. Hello, Mum, you all right? You all right? Good. Hello. Hello. A £2 phone card bought from prison wages of an average £8 a week can be the only regular contact inmates have with home. Hello, Mum. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm. Convicted robber Juliana tries to ring her mum every day. You know what I mean, his mum? I'm not fine, girl. Don't worry about me. Because mm. I'm worried about you. I'm all right, mum. Don't worry about me. I'm not too worried about. Right? Yeah, it's all right. You've been video today, about. Yeah, I know. I'm close to my family. Me and my family are very, very close. Well, it's the longest I haven't seen my family for. And it's just taking the piss now. The governor's refused to move me, but in the end, he'll have to move me because I'll just be kicking off all the time. Simple as. Yeah, I've seen the Board of Visitors today, and there's a lot of people trying to get back down to Easter Park. Just be strong, girl. Yeah, I will, I'll do my best. We'll all pull together now, babe. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Okay, mother. 
Right, Mum, I'll go now, right, because I've got two units left and I'll keep you for t later on or tomorrow to phone you, right? All right, let's see.